Hi guys, I'm Teresa with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I'm going to be doing today's messages for all my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the second half of October 2019. So the 15th through the 31st of October 2019. Um, I had two cards that came out for you guys before the reading and that was Heal Away Addictions and Singing and Dancing. So says it is time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire ask archangel raphael to help you with this healing and this three three this is the second time I've, an eight three eight three is what i was told to tell you but anyway um the second time today that this has came up uh, uh caffeine and sugar or pop needs to go i'm hearing um This has a lot to do with different foods, different drinks. Um, yeah, I'm getting it more of like a, a food addiction for you guys. Some of you, it could be sex and drugs, alcohol, other things like that. It could be anything that's making you or taking you away from your divine life purpose. That's taking you away from, you know, um, sanity, all of that stuff. So anything that's causing you issues needs, needs to go. But I'm getting specifically pop and caffeine. And I'm getting that there's some kind of additive, I know this sounds weird, but there's some kind of additive that you can add to things that are caffeinated that will help, and I'm not for sure what it is, but that will help with it vibrating with you, your frequency. Okay, singing and dancing. Express yourself and awaken your psychic senses through the magical power of movement and music. Okay, I'm getting instantly about the, a lot of the fire signs are going through um, kundalini awakenings or kundalini rising. Their chi energy, life force energy is starting to be felt throughout their body, um, moving up their spine and causing them a lot of discomfort and heat and aggravation and, and sickness. Um, this is all normal part of it when it first starts to rise. But I'm hearing that singing and dancing will help you to stay more focused and, and not so concentrated on the, the, the symptoms that are coming with it. So try not to complain too much about it. But just know that on the other side of this is nothing but blessings and, and miracles and rewards and gifts. Okay, But singing and dancing is really going to help with that. And also I'm hearing that some of you are getting ready to attend festivals. Uh, for Samhain or Halloween, uh, something to do with that sort. So singing and dancing, drumming circles, I'm hearing celebrations of parties. Um, am I supposed to take both of these? Not this one. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, these both came out with the last reading. Am I supposed to take both of these cards? Yes or no? Which card am I supposed to take? Risk. Okay. And the other card that came out was submission, a number 12 card. But I was told to take risk. Um, there's always risk that comes with letting go of things, addictions or behaviors. Those risks are, first of all, a risk of getting healthier. <laughs> so that's a good risk, but a risk of getting healthier. But um, a risk of, of be, becoming grouchy and um, not so nice to people because you're having to let go of things. So make sure that you're being loving, compassionate, nice you know whatever just know like they're not the ones that are putting you through this this is for your spiritual transformation and yours only so um try not to be so mean and, and to people when you're going through these changes and transformations some of you are risking losing a job because of your attitudes is what i'm told attitudes and actions so make sure that you're being nice to people and doing your job some of you may be going through, you know, this Kundalini uh, awakening is helping or making some of you um, not want to go to work or not working efficiently. So it, ask your angels and guides to help you push through that so that you don't risk losing your job. What other messages do you have for my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the second half of October, the 15th through 31st, 2019, please. What other messages do you, thank you. Enthusiasm. I'm getting that a lot of people are having gifts that are awakening to where they're seeing and experiencing things in the astral. Um, other beings having experiences where they're astral traveling and stuff like that. But I'm seeing this giving you guys a lot of enthusiasm, wanting you to put, helping you to want to push forward in your spiritual journey. Um, seeing, it's helping you to see the, the rewards that comes with all of those things that you have to let go of. 
the blessing behind letting go of those things and the blessing behind that kundalini energy rising. I know the singing and dancing isn't, isn't kundalini energy, but this is what this card was talking about. So, um, Some of you may be doing some sun gazing, which is what I was just talking with Nick about this morning. Sun gazing helps you open up to different dimensions. It also helps you to see beings in a different way. Um, it just helps with your spirit, your spiritual awakening or your enlightenment so much more. So some of you may be sun gazing and seeing things differently now or need to. I'm hearing um, the number nine is about philanthropy. With three, I can't say it. I never can say it anyway. And I'm also being told to turn it upside down. And this is about family, something to do with family. You're excited about this new, this new life. Your family's excited about it. Um, a lot of movement. I'm hearing movement and travel. And it's kind of like, um, I'm hearing free range travel, like you, you don't know exactly where you're going, but you just start going somewhere and you go. I'm seeing like a Winnebago or a bus being loaded down with stuff and you're just going and traveling and you're using your gifts to attract um, the, the financial support that you need for your gas and food and, and things like that. So um, there's a lot of enthusiasm that comes around that and that involves your family being a part of it as well as what I'm told. And there's risks that come with that because you have to put up with people in tight, uh, confined spaces as well as all the attitudes and indifferences of people that you're around. So do whatever you got to do. Pray yourself up to stay uh, in a good space and a peaceful uh, mind, frame of mind. Isolation. I'm hearing do not isolate yourself. It's not a time for isolation. So be real cautious of isolating yourself. There's there's risks that's going to come with that. It could make you, um, I'm hearing it could make your, your gifts not open as fast. Or you're, if you're not doing the things that you need to do by isolating yourself or sleeping too much, you're not going to have those gifts open up as fast. Or you're kind of slowing down your progress is what I'm getting. Thank you, whoever said that. Slowing down your progress. Or putting it at a standstill. For a lot of you, it's being put at a standstill is what I'm being told. Um, yeah, I, I feel like there's going to be some, some discussions that come along with this traveling and stuff for some of you. Um that's going to cause you to want to go into isolation. But I'm hearing for, for some people, they're in isolation period because of the gifts that are opening up. So this is a wide, there's a wide variety of things that's coming up. So take what resonates with you and leave the rest. 717, I was told to tell you guys, and 721. 7711. <laughs> 7711, oh my lord. Um, yeah, that's really all I'm getting off of that. Is there any more of these cards that like to come out? Yes or no? Yes, no, I heard no. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Universal energies. What messages do you have for my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the month of October, or the second half of October 2019, the 15th through 31st, please. For all my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the second half of October, please. Fairies. You have a strong bond with the fairies, and your life purpose involves helping Mother Nature. This has something to do with changing energy or creating new energy or something of that sort. Um, some of you are starting to, to have memories or flashes of things that you need to bring to the forefront. Things from past lives or uh, not past lives, uh, all other multidimensional aspects of yourself that is coming to, um, to you through memories, through visions, through daydreams, what have you, but you're getting a lot of this stuff that's coming in like that. Others of you may be being um, called upon to start working with the fairies or are already working with the fairies, and this is just a confirmation that you're on the right path. Some of you are being called to pick up trash on the on the waterways, the roadways. Um, 
and seeing again can people connecting with trees so i'm being reminded that i need to go out and you know connect with trees whether it be hugging or sitting underneath it or you know uh, pushing my energy to it and getting energy back out and cycling it through um that's all i'm getting off of that what other messages do you have, please, for all my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius for the month of, or second half of October 2019. Ear chakras. Notice messages that appear as sounds, music, and words from both external sources and, and within your, your mind. These messages are real answers to your prayers. So it's just not about the, the things that are repeating in your mind, um, but it's also about those tones and those ringing and, and high-pitched noises that you have that are coming in. There's a lot of assistance around us right now, a lot of assistance within us and around us that is guiding us through these awakenings, through the transitions of our mastery, um, all of that. So your ears are going to be ringing it's going to have high pitch noise low pitch noise or low tones all kinds of different things ringing high all of it so just know that when those things are going on that you actually have a lot of things that are trying to communicate with you or that are assisting you at that time so pay attention to this repetitious sounds thoughts any music that's repeating uh lyrics in your head those are all uh, extra messages from source or spirit so make sure that you're paying attention to those some of you are opening up to gifts of channeling. That's what I'm being told. Yeah. Something about dream time. Some of you are being woke up during dream time, sleep time, three voices or something of that sort. It reminds me, like, I didn't hear this voice, but I had something... Um, put its hands on my lower abdomen and I felt it pushing all the way through the blankets and everything. It woke me up. I, I woke up and I didn't sit up or anything. I just looked down at the blanket to see if I could see the blanket moving and I could actually see the blanket moving. This just happened yesterday. So just a lot of um, things that are going on with people, a lot of interaction with touching uh, in the physical sense as well as in the spiritual sense. So um, a lot of... Uh, upper clouded um not clouded but upper um upper chakras being uh what do you call it i can't even get the right word out here guys like um feeling very thick or very uh shoot i can't think of the right word got a lot of stuffiness going on up in your head your crown your it feels like sinus pressure pressure is the right word that i was trying to get out the whole time <laughs> Okay, anyway, what other messages do you have, please, for the second half of October for all my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please. Thank you. Am I supposed to take that one? No? It was your profoundly clairvoyant. Keep it. Okay, I was told to keep it. Um, trust what you see with your mind's eye as well as your physical sight. If your spiritual vision helps you with healing, teaching, and guidance. Some of you are starting to come in alignment with, like, your physical sight and your intuitive sight being together like you're starting to finally balance them out you're starting to realize that those things that are coming to you right before they happen or whatever are actually those intuitive messages so you're starting to understand the messages all day all the time congratulations i heard okay others of you may just just start having your intuition picking up and being more on point might start having more visions uh some of you are working with a magnetic grid or supposed to be working with a magnetic grid. And something to do with some of your learning about gatekeeping or being a gatekeeper. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you feel led to look that up, make sure that you look that up because that's talking to you. And then I heard, yeah, you. So whoever just said me, <laughs> yep, you. <laughs> Power animal. Oh boy. Your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. So whatever animals you've been seeing repetitively, I've been seeing a lot of uh, turkey vultures lately and squirrels. So those are two of them that's been working with me. So whatever animals been repeating in your life, whether it be through uh, social media, in books or magazines, on commercials, on TV, out in nature, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just pay attention to those extra signs. Look at the animal symbolism for that animal. 
Angels, what messages do you have? I must just take this one. What messages do you have for the second half of October 2019, the 15th through 31st, 2019? Thank you, Maya. Schooling, studying, and education help your life's purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with this process. You're starting to see where you're supposed to be pushed to, what what um, books you're supposed to read, what kind of things you're supposed to be writing down and jotting down to share with people or to teach people. Um, how to master your gifts. Some of you are learning how to master your gifts, so it's just about practicing push and pushing through. Some of you are attending um, rituals or... Um, ceremonies of some sort that has to do with like ayahuasca peyote uh, i don't know i'm just seeing like different uh shamanistic type rituals so some of you are going through that or being led to do that just i heard some of you just need the confirmation to go through with it so there you go this is not for everybody remember it's not for everybody there's a lot of you guys that still have have things that need to be healed or you wouldn't be ready to do things like that anyway drug addicts <laughs> my friends my people recovering drug addicts goodness gracious grace and antoinette to help heal this situation see the other person's point of view with compassion Not really getting too much off of this. Actually, I'm getting nothing off of this. I guess it's self explanatory. What other messages do you have, please, for my fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for the month of, or second half of October 2019? Thank you. Rochelle, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Things are being lined up and put into order, exactly the order that they're supposed to, as long as you stay in your lane and try not to resist change and try not to um, change things up to fit your human desires, but you stay in your spiritual self and allow your heart to guide you, then that prosperity and that abundance is here. It's already here, but it's going to be so much more. And you're going to start to see like these things that you've been preparing for or been going through are all leading you to this space, this time where you're manifesting your dreams and desires. You're, you're finally in that space of needing to put your gifts out into the world, all of that. I'm telling you what, guys, us light workers have to be prepared by 2020, February 2020. A lot of stuff's going to start happening. There's going to be a lot of things are showing up in the world where people are going to see that, you know, we're not crazy. We are uh, really who we say we are, and we are here to help this planet ascend and evolve. And that's coming. People are going to wake up to that, knowing that that's truth. Celeste. A happy move to a new home or place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. I heard there's a lot of decisions that need to be made, whether or not you want to go through with going this way or that way. Some of you may have more than one romantic partner, some of you that you need to choose, and others may have more than one home or place of employment that they need to choose, but I'm hearing decisions need to be made. Yes. This may also be about those people that are traveling. A lot of travels coming up for a lot of light workers are going to be traveling. And I feel that very strongly that a lot of light workers will be traveling and doing conferences and healings in different places and just a lot of a lot of movement, forward movement from now on. So just be ready. You are ready. Are there any more of these that would like to come out? Yes or no? I heard the bottom. Melena, you are confused and indecisive because you do not have enough information. Do you research or seek expert advice before making a decision? Okay, I'm hearing this expert advice is your guidance, your higher self, source God itself, the angels, the ascended masters, whoever it is that you normally talk to and pray to, this is who you need to seek guidance with and then follow through with those repeated thoughts that you're hearing with the actions that are appropriate for that. Yes. Okay. 
Honorable Spirit Guides, what messages do you have, please, for all my fire signs? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, for October 15th through 31st, 2019. Please, must just take that one. Thank you. Peacock, let yourself stand out and be noticed. Don't be afraid of the discrimination that comes to you or um, the fears of what how people are going to react to you because you're divinely guided and protected in all that you do. And I was told 6666. Six, six, six. So let you guys know that. Now being reminded like you're being awakened to sight, the gift of sight, the gift of foresight, uh, vision, uh, it, clear intuition, spot on accurate intuition seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing many different views, having many different, um, realizing that you have many different possibilities or probabilities for the life that you want to live because all things are possible. Yeah. As tired as I am for all this transition that I've been going through and all the heartache and all of that, I am so overjoyed with happiness and just knowing that every bit of this is just setting us up to be who we're supposed to be and to get ourselves out into this world so this whole planet can evolve and we can, you know, have peace and, and abundance. It, it's coming. It's here. I mean, it's already here. It's just... It's now about reaping those rewards and bringing them into us and ex being accepting of those things. Elk, stand tall and maintain your dignity no matter what, and the others will treat you with the respect that you deserve. You have to be able to open your mind and speak your truth respectfully, compassionately, with no judgment to outcome, but speak it anyway, and then whatever outcome comes is what outcome comes. However, I've been finding out that when I've been speaking my truth and how I feel and the things that I about the things that I desire in a relationship, um, these things have been uh, changed instantly, like instant karma coming and changing the, or helping change these things. So just follow through with what you're being guided to to say or do and speak your truth and just see like those rewards come instantly now their changes are coming instantly for the better we don't have to worry as much about those seemingly rough patches it's more of like just cleaning up loose ends now okay so and I, i'm being reminded of i've received um two wreaths from an elk um, one was not so long ago and then actually they both were not so long ago within the past four months I've received past two months I'm sorry I've received two um, wreaths uh, and these wreaths were wreaths of congratulations thank you um, a job well done uh, for mastering my gifts for um, being that ascended master now finally um, so some of you are receiving this wreath or this congratulations, this thank you gift, this gift of appreciation is what I'm hearing. So um, I'm hearing if this is you, you should be feeling it coming into your heart space. So it's like a gift of love. You should feel that energy just, just vibrate into your heart space. Whatever messages do you have, please, for October 12th through 31st, 2019. Both of them. I heard both of them stop with these. Oh, there's three. Unicorn, polar bear, and tortoise. Indulge your creative, imaginative, and magical side through some form of artistic expression. This has been coming up with all the signs. So through uh, your music, writing, uh, painting, gardening, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is for you, become creative in that, artistic in that way. If you're a healer, uh, come up with creative ideals to do healing. It's... You don't have to stick with a normal sense of healing like you're you're used to. Be creative. Be fun with it. Um, and I'm also hearing some of you are connecting with the unicorn. So uh, continue to do that. And I'm hearing that they're giving you that creative spark. A lot of, I'm seeing a lot of, well, it makes sense because I'm seeing this here, but I'm seeing a lot of halos glowing. And it's almost like there's a light bulb on top, like clicking on and giving you like this just something, something new, some kind of creative new spark. Polar bear, stand up for yourself and speak your truth respectfully and compassionately with no attachment to outcomes. So this was just, you know, to 
here goes Grace and Antoinette. This is just a confirmation about the Grace and Antoinette card telling us that, you know, there's going to be those things that are going to come up that you're not going to um, really care so much about, but you still need to stand up for yourself and stand, at, you know, stand in your truth with what you desire, with what you expect out of something. And then you put that out there. And then once you put it out there, you just got to completely let it go. Don't keep thinking about it. Don't try to, to force anything to happen one way or the other, good, bad, or indifferent. Just let it go. And then you're going to see that instant karma coming back to you. So that instant, uh, almost like instant gratification, but it's not really gratification, but it's, it's like instant karma coming back to you, those things changing fast, instantly. Um, I'm just hearing you're going to realize the outcomes are going to be so much different than what you'd expected because you're always expecting something more of a lower vibrating energy or more negative or a different rejection or response. So it's not going to be rejection anymore. It's going to be more of like, okay, let's figure this out. Let's work together. So, um, some of you might be going through that. Um, and then tortoise, you're too fragmented. So do whatever it takes to get you grounded. So you might want to go outside and do a grounding exercise. Maybe we'll do one real quick before I, I get off of here. But, um, um, it's, it's a lot about balance right now and balancing out those, uh, masculine and feminine energies and, your 3d human life with your spiritual life having a balance between those both so once again make sure you're not sleeping all day and doing all that stuff but um doing what you're guided to do and rest only when you absolutely need the rest ask the angels to, to give you energy to push through some of you may just need to pull energy from the sun or the earth up into your body to energize you like an energy drink what i do it all the time and it really works so anyway um are there any other cards that like to come out I'm going to just pull a couple of these real quick and see if there's any more um, extra added messages that they would like to give us. Both of them, all three of them. Which one am I supposed to take? Okay, so it's um assertion extremism and romance so the first one is romance so some of you may be having some romance with a soulmate or a twin flame or just romance in general um there's starting to be a romantic spark uh flirtation romantic spark within your existing relationship is what i'm hearing uh I just feel like this whole experience is, is just like romancing you anyway, not in a sense of like in a romantic relationship, but you're just falling in love and you're being romanced by this spiritual journey that you're on. Yes, I heard. Yes. Okay. Um, extremism is a number eight. I'm hearing not to go to extremes with the things that you're doing, especially with the words that you're saying to people. Don't ma ma manipulate them into uh, changing their ways for you, but however, just speak your truth compassionately and don't expect any outcome so this has a lot to do with the way that you're treating people being extreme in it um or not some of you might not be being extreme enough or being too lenient with the way that you're standing up for yourself and this is a um a number eight card so it's also talking about abundance I'm hearing some kind of extreme situations may come up for some of you too when it comes to changing uh, your place of employment or city or state that you're moving to. So this may be a caution or a warning for some of you. I'm hearing yes. Okay. To just like uh, make sure that you're, you're using that discernment of spirit of whether or not to move forward with this move or this place of, of employment or position change, something of that sort. Um, and then the last card was assertion, and this is just about asserting yourself, asserting yourself in a loving, kind, compassionate way. Um, with your forward movement, with uh, being dedicated, being yeah devoted and committed to this process, this change, this transformation, lovingly assert yourself is what I'm hearing.
and it's a number one card so this is about new beginnings staying positive um, speaking positive words positive actions and I heard something about taming the beast and I feel like it's just like some of us have like this this beastly or this grumpy attitude that's coming out towards other people that need to be arrested. That's probably why I keep hearing assert yourself lovingly without attachment to outcome. So that may be what that is. Let's just go ahead and ground ourselves real quick and we'll go ahead and end this video. Uh, it might end anyway because I'm running out of time, but 5775, I was told to tell you some mirror. Anyway, let's just go ahead and close our eyes and get into a relaxed state. So I'll go ahead and blow in the screen one time to get those who are not able to get themselves relaxed, relaxed. You'll feel the energy go from your crown all the way down to your toes. It'll make you feel light and floaty or either uh, heavy and very calm and relaxed. So I'm going to do that now. It almost put me to sleep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, so some of you may feel very, very extremely tired right now, and I'm hearing this because we need grounded. So let's go ahead and ground ourselves, and maybe that'll help. Let's just go ahead and imagine that we are sending roots, brown colored roots that, that are just full of, you know, that lower vibrating energy that we need to let go of and need to transform back into love and light. We're going to see those roots grow all the way down into the center of the earth and start to spread out through the earth. Let's just imagine that there's a gem or a diamond that's reflecting all colored light there. We're going to see the roots uh, wrap around and root into that gem. We're going to see these uh, rainbow colored lights start to transform the energy of all those lower vibrating energies within our roots back into love and light. We're going to start to pull that up through our uh, bottom of our body, up and through our legs and lower abdomen. As you're pulling it up, you're going to start to feel your body be more charged and energized feel like you're just less tired and restless. You're going to keep on pulling it on up and through your abdomen and chest, your neck, push it out through your shoulders and down your arms and your hands. So allow your fingers and hands to be energized, activated. <clears throat> push it on up through your neck and head as you go out through your crown. Let's just imagine that we're growing a tree of life starting from the roots coming from uh, our heart space and going all the way out as we see the tree come up and out of our crown we're going to see these branches start to grow and form tree uh, leaves all around them we're going to let them grow all the way out into the universe and start start to connect to the the universe and sky the universal energies of guidance Now I'm starting to see the sun and I'm actually seeing clouds and there's rain coming out of the clouds. So I'm seeing a sunny day, but rain coming out and this rain is starting to just like kind of um, clear out the outside of our org field. So that part of our org field that's outside of our body is what I'm seeing. So our body is staying energized. However, the rest of those lower vibrating energies that may be left there are starting to be pushed down with the rain. You're starting to feel like a calmness around you, a peace and balance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. At this time, I'm going to ask that our masculine and feminine energies be balanced out within our body and our org field. So you're going to start to feel like one side of your body is uh, energized in a different way than the other side as it's balancing out. You may feel tingles and pulls and pushes on one side, or you might not the other. You may feel it on both. It doesn't matter. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, guys. Go ahead and thank all of our guidance that helped us with this grounding exercise and balancing out our masculine and fem feminine energies. Please like, share, and subscribe, and follow. Let me know down in the comments below. I think I already said that if this reading resonates, but anyway, um, if I've ever helped you, please hit the like button and share because it helps me get more views, which helps me get more clients and more financial income. Anyway, I appreciate you guys and have so much love for you, so much gratitude. Everybody have a great second half of October. I love you. Bye.